Ryan uh, Sanchez is at the um, Fitness for 10 in Carson City. If you guys have questions about what we talk about today uh, on how to choose supplements, um, we're going to be talking about some brand stuff, I think, and just uh, how do you know if you're making a wise decision for you on what you're choosing? If you guys want to reach out to me, you can get me at stevemain.com. Uh, leave comments in the uh, uh, comment section, and we'll try to get back to you on that if you have questions. And uh, this is a topic. I mean, I take a lot of supplements and I've been doing it since I was a teenager. So welcome, Brian. Thanks for having me, Steve. I think this is a fantastic uh, topic. Uh, like you, uh, I take a, a ton of supplements and I think it's important to kind of gauge what you're going to take. Yeah. So if you guys like this stuff, please like and subscribe to the channel. And um, with, with supplements, there's so many out there. And if, if you took all the good ones, you'd probably mess up your body because it's too much. Um, I'm probably pushing. I don't take all the supplements that I take. I don't take them all every day. But they're, I'll, I'll take certain supplements for a certain period of time, and then I'll alternate them a little bit. But there's a few base supplements that I take every day. And I think, uh, Brian, you want to talk about um, – how do you know if you're taking garbage or if you're taking something that's actually quality? So give us that, some thoughts. Hey, I, I think that's important. Like you, Steve, I've tried a lot of different things and we've been into supplements for decades. I think it's safe to say, um, you know, you see all these things and now in, in today's world, we got access to all this information about all these supplements and you're going to see all this stuff popping up if you're on Facebook, if you're on the computer and all these different kinds of supplements and everybody's got the newest version of this, that or the other thing. A lot of the popular stuff out there like cleanses, things like that or, or uh, um, fiber supplements or protein supplements. And we get a lot of questions. I've had a lot of questions on what's the right one to take. Well, the answer is you have to try it. You have to go in and you've got to take this product. But as an individual, don't put something into your body that you haven't looked into. Don't just buy it because Steve and Brian said they like that one. You need to kind of take a look at this stuff, review it. And, and that's kind of where I wanted to talk today in that direction. And take a look at all the options. Choose the one that fits you in your body. Uh, things like price and value. You can go to certain places and spend hundreds of dollars on supplements and get stuff that is loaded with fillers and not really have much success with it. You can go to other areas like uh, one of our local um, vitamin stores, Phil's Discount. Uh, they have a tremendous knowledge of supplements. They don't carry thousands of different things, but they carry quality products. And, and so they're a trusted vendor for me when I go to buy this stuff. But everything I try from them, I know what's going on. I don't like to fall into the trap of, because I see all these neat things on online. They'll pop up when you're looking at stuff and it'll say, hey, here's this product. Let's use a, let's just say a, 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 a cleanse. If you're going to go on a 15 day cleanse, you'll see a product pop up. And the cleanse being the idea that you're going to clear out your intestines and things of that nature. And they'll have these products out there for certain prices. And you have to be careful when you're looking at this because what they're going to do is they're going to send you a subscription price with the idea that you're going to get automatically purchased this exorbitant amount of product when you may not need it and that product may not work well for you. So check out price, look at the value, and research for yourself. Uh, the labels. You want to look at these labels on these supplements and see what's in them. Make sure it is accurate to what your needs are. See that what's in that um, product is something you can verify as an individual. If it says, and I'm going to make up a word, if it says vitamin um, alpha, you want to know what that is. And you need to be able to verify that that's going to be okay with your body. Uh, product safety. Make sure when you're looking at these supplements that on these products, 
you want to try to find something that has been tested to make sure it has been safe. Because a lot of these products, because they come out so quickly, don't necessarily show that they've been tested on humans. You want to know if that's a quality product. And I can assure you, the good quality programs that are out there, or I said products that are out there, I should say, they have been tested by someone. Uh, and, and in that testing process, third party verification, where some these companies go out and they have somebody else verify the quality of their product for them and verify that it does what they say it does. That's a real nice thing to have. Not all of them have them, but it's something to think about when you're trying to make that choice. Uh, customer reviews. You got to look at what people are telling you. They're going to let you know, um, you know, if if the cleanse or the protein has done something to their body. Read as many as you can. Read the five-star reviews. Don't get sold on it yet. And read the one-star reviews. Have a great idea as to what you're putting in your body. All right? Um, guarantees. I love products that if I don't like it, I can turn around and send my money back. Almost every one of these companies will take their product back if it's not working out for you. And you might, that it's, it's a safe way to try things because you can get your money back if it's giving you an upset stomach, um, you know, or if it's causing you to stay up at night, you know, things of this nature. Um, the quality of the product. Read what's in there. You know, some of these products might attest to they have four or five um, elements within them that are for your body, for your for the betterment of your body. But then when you read the rest of it, there's a lot of stuff in there that is absolutely unnecessary. It's called filler. It's, it's kind of the same rule I use when I'm buying protein bars. To me, if the protein bars aren't over 20 grams, I always make the assumption that there's going to be a lot of fillers in them. Because they have to make a bigger bar. That's just the way I look at things. Um, the purity of the product. If you can identify on the product how pure it is, you don't want to buy creatine that is loaded with another product so that it can get volume in that container. You want to buy 100% creatine, not creatine and mouse hair. You know what I mean? You want to know what's in there. Yeah. Um, and results, you have to know why you're taking that supplement. Uh, why do you want to take, um, essential aminos? What is it? Why are you, what is the reason for you to take those amino acids? What are you trying to accomplish? You have to understand that so that when you're taking it in about six to eight weeks down the road, you can see whether or not it's truly helping you. Um, and last but not least, Research, science, development. See what they've done on their end of the product. And if you go to their websites, they're proud. When they get their stuff researched, when they develop it in a certain way, they're very proud of it. And they will tell you everything about their product that they want you to know right there on the website. So lots of things out there. Keep those things in mind. Be safe when you're trying these things and enjoy the opportunity to try something new. And, you know, that's all good advice. And I, I would add, first thing I do, I look for something simple. Is this a tablet or is it a capsule? I don't take anything that's in a tablet. I've been tricked a few times. Where they'll say it's a, it's a caplet. Oh, you got me once, but you're not going to get me twice. I'm going to read that close. Uh, and because you're talking about uh, fillers, what about binders? Look, I'm not the doctor. We're not recommending any products. But I'll notice if something, the same thing is in a, is in a tablet compared to a capsule, it's usually going to cost less and it might have more. But again, this is my experience and my opinion, 50 years of taking stuff like supplements and, you know, stuff in tablets and capsules, the, the, the tablet is a rock. You might as well go out in your yard, pick up little rocks and swallow them uh, because they're going to end up in the toilet. So I try, that's the first thing I try to avoid 
tablets and stick with capsules. Now they can still mess up capsules, but that's where the advice you came in or that you gave comes in. And all these little things, again, if you guys have questions, put them down. Well, we're not doctors. We're not recommending uh, any products, but we've done this for a long time and we've made mistakes. Things have worked. Things haven't worked. So that's my two cents on just how to start. I always make sure if I'm taking something that's in a pill form, that it's always a capsule as opposed to a tablet. So any last thoughts on that, um, Brian? No, I just think it's important. Read the labels. Uh, you know, some of the things I always talk to even my own kids who, who work out is, you know, if you like pre-workouts, fine, take them, but try to use non-stimulant base because you don't want, you know, 300 milligrams of caffeine jumping into your system right now. So, I mean, read these labels and see what's in them. If you don't know and you're just rolling the dice, you know, you're going to pass out at some point. You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, and what to take is a whole nother topic, another video we can do. You know, there's stuff from celery seed powder to grape seed to saw palmetto, you name it. Um, there's too much stuff out there to, to take it all. I've joked, you know, sometimes I, I break my fast with my supplements and I'm full till dinner you know, because maybe it's too many, but that's a whole nother topic on what types of things you should take, but that's a good start. So um, thanks for being with us, Brian. Good seeing you. Talk to you next time, everybody.